Sorry about that. This is a kind of a tough video for me. I've not had one that... I've not had a soap that bothered me as much as this one. Now let me explain why. I recently purchased a new oil, a new essential oil, an oregano essential oil. And I've bought them before, but I bought from a new company, which I will rage about uh, in this video actually a bit. Uh, <laughs> and I've had two other batches that it has ruined. But I wasn't quite sure that's what it was. So I did a very specific test um, before I even made this batch using a much smaller bit of that essential oil. Well, unfortunately, it didn't work. Um, I thought it, was, it had, but you'll see in this video that everything goes to heck really quick. I thought it was going to be great. I mean, just a real disappointment and at this point I, I was just really freaking out <laughs> I, I just wanted to grab whoever owns this uh, company now comes the fun part of adding the colors and at this point I was still hopeful that they would pour and as soon as I picked it up I realized can you see this and it's not just thick trace. It is hard. I mean, just hard like um, uh, hard soap. I <laughs> don't know how else to explain it. It's very difficult. And here I am. I'm trying to stir it up inside there, and it's just not stirring. Luckily, I had brought the soap to trace, so this is real soap. But it just looks like awful. It looks like I'm throwing chili down, doesn't it? was uh, spurting a few obscenities but again I thought no one will ever see this because I'm just going to delete this one like the last two because this is just absurd I've never seen anything like this anyway but there's more coming so here you go I thought well which clod should I add next right so the only reason I'm leaving this here is that someone said to me recently that I should put up a fail even though I did put one up one recently uh, my friend Steph at LaBain Sopery said put up your fails you know and she's right it helps others and Renee and a few of uh, you other great members have suggested that I put these up too so I've decided to put it up but I'm not brave enough to leave the audio on because I was, I'm sorry, I was being a bit sailory in my language. Mixing it with the spatula, I thought, what more could I possibly do to improve this? So I got a potato measure. <laughs> there was more white than I thought there would be. I thought I had mixed it better, but I guess because it was so thick and chunky, it just didn't blend well. There are a few holes in it, which I expected as well, because this is very much looking like rebatch soap, and it isn't, as you well know. <laughs> it just started out bad, and uh, 
But the result, I think, is worthy of keeping. Or do you think I should rebatch it? I'm actually giving you the responsibility of the future of this soap. I will tell you, it smells tremendous. It really does. It smells great. But um, I know it's not everyone's taste. It's a uh, rustic-looking soap, to be sure. Use an irregular size. These are really big. And when I have a soap that doesn't turn out the way I wanted it to, I often will do this. I'll just make it a giant brick of soap. It's like, well, you may not be the prettiest, but you're going to be the biggest. <laughs> and these are monster. I can always cut these down later, but I just wanted to cut these into large three and a half inch bars. And they're thick and they're solid. But what do you think? Now again, there are a few air holes in this, and I'm going to lie to you. There are several little air holes throughout here, and I'm sure if I were to cut into these, I would find more of them. But what do you think of the look? You know, I kind of like some of the rust color from that comes from the turmeric. The red from the Achiodi is much more subdued than it normally is, but I think that has something to do with that oregano fragrance oil. I'm going to blame it for everything <laughs> because it has been a headache to me. And I'm going to go ahead and call this soap a win because I've already had two fails and I just can't deal with a third one <laughs> because of a fragrance that I knew would cause me a problem, you know, because it did twice before. And I've not had problems with essential oils before. I really haven't. Not a single one in, well, over 20 years of making soap. I've not run across this. So I've learned a lesson. Maybe the company uh, uses some odd formulation when they're making it. I don't know. I'm completely at a loss. I've reached out to them via email. Of course, I haven't heard from them yet. And I'm going to try to call them on Monday because... Well, I'm just unhappy with their product, but I want to explain to them why. But what do you think? Can you see the indigo blue there? I know it looks a little dark in this video, but I can tell it's blue. And the green is there from the wheat grass. It really is quite attractive. Uh, I'm not happy with the top, so I'm actually going to be shaving the